Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. We're going to carry on working on this part here where the valves are. I call it the steam chest, some people call it the valve chest. But I've drilled the fixing holes through here, which we want to clamp that on. Draw the fixing holes around the side. These side ones go right through here, which will be fitted, drilled and tapped into the cylinder. The thing I want to do, I'll take that off. And we look at the drawing. Right, on that drawing, that hole there, X, is a steam hole. Now what I want to do, mark out the steam chest, there's that X hole there. Now that's got to go through the steam chest, through here, straight down through and come out the bottom of the cylinder block. So when I've marked this out and drilled through here, that's when I shall be putting this on, drilling the fixing holes, and then I'll be able to turn that around and drill through that X hole to mark the underside of this a little bit. Then I can drill that steam, that steam hole there joining through there. So let's get the holes mixed, uh, marked out on here. As you can see I've marked out those holes. That one there is the X hole which will go through there, through there to the boiler and then up up through the lid into the square part. Right, let's just get them drilled. Right, that was the X hole I just drilled. Right, so this is the X hole. So the steam will come right up from the boiler through the cylinder block through there. So the next thing I'm going to do now, get that on there. I can then drill all the holes in from the top into here these have all got to come through with the studs going into the cylinder block and then if i put the drill through there and mark the bottom of the top and then i'll be able to drill that hole into the square area Thank you. 
Right, that's all the holes drilled in the bottom. The drill's not quite long enough to go right through there, but I'll sort that out after when I've taken the top off. That's the tapping drill size. So when I take the top off, I can tap these side holes and then use that small drill to drill through into the cylinder block for tapping. Right, the next thing, I'm gonna turn that over and drill through the X hole, the steam hole, and mark the top. marked the top through the X hole. These other little holes I've just got to drill right through. So I'll just do that and I'll get back to you. Right so that's all the holes drilled from this side. Now I can uh, take the top off. I'll finish drilling through the side holes. And then we'll have a look at drilling the X hole at the angle into the square area. Right, so that's all the holes drilled around the edge. Later on I'll drill these as through holes for the clearance for the um, studs going into the cylinder block. These will be tapped. And then all the holes in the top will be cleared out as clearance holes. Right, next job now. Try and set that up and drill through there. Through there, into there. See what I can do. Right, I've got this set up. As good an angle, what I've done is I've put a small end mill in and created a small flat in that hole. Then I've used the centre drill. Now I'm just going to try and go through. Hopefully I don't muck it up. Let's keep my fingers crossed. Just get a drill. You can see. Uh, hang on. I'll just zoom out a minute. Right, see there? In there. There you are, you can see the drill poking out through that hole, look. Good. No breakouts outside. Lovely. Right. So we've drilled all the holes in the top. Got the X hole, the steam hole, into there. Got the X hole, the steam hole through there with all the holes ready to be tapped in there. Now that X hole, once I get this on here to drill through these side bolts and these middle bolts, the studs, I'll be able to put the drill through there, mark the cylinder, and then through here, it's got to have that X hole, the steam hole, right through there. There's a lot of work in that. So, please subscribe to my channel.
and join me as I build a 2-inch scale Fowler Showman's Traction Engine.